Do sit down. As Vice President and Dean of, the, of Science and Engineering, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the University of Manchester and the magnificent surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. In particular, I would like to welcome our graduands whose achievements and hard work we are here to celebrate today. We are also delighted to see so many family and friends from all over the world here today. Welcome. For our graduands, today marks a momentous milestone on a road that began many years ago. The journey of all you bright women and men has been enabled by the unstinting support and encouragement of parents, grandparents, guardians and family friends. You may be sitting here now, about to be awarded a degree from the University of Manchester, but it was not so long ago that you were at school, doing homework, and wondering what university would be like. The people who love you are as proud of you today as they ever have been. And therefore, I would ask the graduands to please stand up, stand up, <laughs> rotate, by the appropriate number of degrees, you are engineers, and please clap and applaud, whistle and cheer, and this is your chance to say thank you. Do sit down. When you decided to study at the University of Manchester, you chose to make a major investment in your future, an investment that began to pay dividends almost as soon as you arrived. During the course of your studies, you will have gained the skills and knowledge to help you find success in future years. Put simply, your achievement in completing your degree cannot be underestimated for its value, and it is a strong platform for you to build your career and achieve your goals. Manchester is already one of the finest universities in Europe, but we are determined to become one of the best in the world. Our ambition is to lift the University of Manchester into the first rank of higher learning on a global scale. With 160 nationalities on campus, the University of Manchester is already a truly global institution and one which will remain so valuing its European and international staff, students and alumni. At the core of the new vision is a major investment in buildings, infrastructure and facilities that are being built even as I speak and which are concrete evidence of our commitment to the highest standards of scholarship and research. The £430 million project, the Manchester Engineering Campus Development, Opening, is tw opening in 2021 is part of a £1 billion investment in buildings and will give state-of-the-art facilities for teaching and research across engineering. We are also building the Sir Henry Royce Institute as part of the National Hub for Research in Advanced Materials and this opens in early 2020 and the Graphene Engineering Innovation Centre to bring graphene to commercial realisation that was opened last year. Last year, we also opened the £13 million Schuster Annex in the School of Physics and Astronomy. And just last week, our Manchester Institute of Biotechnology, the MIB, won the Queen's Anniversary Award. Earlier this year, Jodrell Bank received a World Heritage status. Jodrell, of course, is the birthplace of radio astronomy and now Alan Turing is on the £50 note. But it isn't the bricks and the mortar, the wires and the high technology and pieces of paper that make this university so great and successful. It is our staff, our students and our people. 
A university does not exist but for its students. You are the University of Manchester. And because of your input, the university is changing and will continue to change for the better. Today is just as much about honouring you for this valuable contribution as for your success in your academic studies. The greatest thing we have taught you is not facts and figures, but how to learn, what to learn, and how to think critically and to ask the pertinent questions. Your job prospects, having studied here, are enviable because employers around the world recognise the value of the diploma that you will soon be holding in your hand. And to the parents and the families who believed their days of paying for their children were over, some of you may be in for a shock as your child's educational aspirations continue. You have my sympathies. Your degree is a hugely important milestone, and we celebrate your success. But this is only the beginning of another journey and of your association with Manchester, not the end. The journey continues way beyond today's pomp and ceremony. Our career service continues to offer you help and support, and you can continue to make good use of world-class facilities and libraries. The Alumni Association will help you to remain in contact with the university, linking you with a community of over a quarter of a million Manchester graduates living and working across the globe. And as alumni, you yourselves can help future students in many ways, as ambassadors of the university, in student placements and employment, and directly in the development of the university. Just as you were vital to the university when you were studying here, so you will continue to be a vital part of its future. And remember that our doors will always be open to you. You're always welcome. I congratulate you on your success, and I wish you every happiness in your future lives and careers. Let me finish by saying that it is always dangerous to give young people advice but I will do so anyway. <laughs> Be bold and turn your dreams into reality. Life is not a rehearsal. Congratulations. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our wonderful city of Manchester. It is my great pleasure to say a few words about the School of Engineering and our students from the Departments of Mechanical, Aerospace and Civil Engineering and Department of Computer Science, and talk a little about the huge importance of training engineers, computer scientists and project managers, developing skills and expertise for tackling some of the world's most important societal challenges. Firstly, it is great pride with, as a Mancunian myself, I am able to represent the School of Engineering and share with you some of our insights for engineering activities in Manchester. As many of you will know, our student and staff community is vast and diverse. We teach large home and international cohorts of undergraduate and postgraduate students from 150 countries across aerospace, chemical, civil, electronic, electrical and mechanical engineering, computer science and project management. We deliver technical master's programmes in areas from manufacturing and engineering design to artificial intelligence and computer security and professional development in areas including management of projects and reliability and asset management. We work with over 800 PhD research students who are at the cutting edge of their fields. Alongside our budding early career researchers, we have world leading research in areas including designing energy systems to tackle climate change, innovative manufacturing and bioinformatics with applications in healthcare, and aerospace engineering, including developing robotics and designing drones. It is hard to capture the breadth 
and the depth of activity underway in the school. But here are some examples of current research. Continuing our incredible heritage, creating the first electronic stored programmable, programmable, I knew I was going to struggle with that word, programmable computer and building on the Turing test that led to what we now understand as artificial intelligence. Researchers in computer science are developing new computer architecture through the new Spinnaker machine as part of the Human Brain Project. As a result, we now have a machine with over one million processors capable of representing 1% of the neurons in the human brain. In mechanical, aerospace and civil engineering, colleagues are creating bone bricks that can be assembled to provide customised, patient-specific prosthetic implants to treat large bone injuries and avoid painful limb lengthening treatment and recovery time, with far-reaching benefits, especially in war-torn countries. And we have researchers focused on homegrown numerical modelling techniques to better understand hazards with applications in things like flooding and tsunami events. We have a considerable body of research in collaboration with our industrial partners, from improving the integrity of materials within nuclear power stations with the EDF, to more locally focused activities, such as working with the Manchester Mayor and Greater Manchester Combined Authorities to help them to manage and cut CO2 emissions in our region. Exposing you, our students, to our real world engineering and computer science research offers you key insights into some of the areas that you might want to work in in future. This connection between our expertise and our region takes us back to the 1800s. The university originated in Victorian times in response to the engineering challenges of the Industrial Revolution, then centred here in the northwest of England. 1824, the date on our university logo, was the date of the formation of the Institute of Mechanics, and the university soon followed in 1851. Manchester was the birthplace of the engineering discipline in universities, but as the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution as well, we now know that this has initiated one of today's biggest global challenges, that of climate change. So it is particularly fitting that our school here in Manchester is tackling climate change through major projects in engineering and computer science, such as those related to nuclear and renewable energy, uh, nuclear energy connected with our Dalton Nuclear Institute, developing the next generation of solar cell technology in the Photon Science Institute, and hosting the Tyndall Centre for Climate Change Research. Our school is also playing an important role in addressing many other major engineering challenges of today through its work on machine learning, manufacturing, structural engineering, artificial intelligence, aerospace engineering, and studying how to manage major projects. Many of you will have directly or indirectly gained skills relating to global challenges through understanding how to design new computer systems and roll out new engineering infrastructure and projects, or land and air vehicles of the future, working to extend the reliability of its structures in extreme environments, or developing techniques to manage risk and deploy large change projects. We are proud to say that our school is playing an important role in addressing and managing the major engineering computational, environmental and societal challenges of today through our research, our teaching and learning relating to water, health, energy buildings and transport. New skills acquired by you will help to open up doors with applications in industries across many sectors and we know that our Manchester graduates do extremely well when it comes to employability. And in line with the university's ambition, the school's staff and students take our social responsibilities very seriously, with a high-level engagement in many outreach and volunteering activities. These activities not only provide immediate benefits to people within Manchester or wherever the activities take place, but also the skills you learn and experiences you gain in taking part will no doubt lead to further important societal contributions throughout your lives. You have trained and studied with us to be engineers, computer scientists, and managers of projects. 
to work in professions that can only become more important as societies take stock of some of the great challenges and opportunities that the world faces today. During your time here, we expect you will have broadened your horizons, become more curious, developed new problem-solving skills, and learnt through your studies how to be critical, analytical, and inquiring. But as you will hopefully now realise, our university is here to provide you with experiences and skills that you can take with you to the wider community, industry, and society to play your part in building a better world, in making a difference. So finally, on behalf of my colleagues across computer science and mechanical, aerospace and civil engineering, may I congratulate you on your hard work, commitment, enthusiasm and achievement in reaching this important milestone and wish you every success in the future. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank your family, friends and significant others for all of their support. Good luck in your futures and with making a difference in our world. Thank you very much. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Dena Abdullah Alabad. <laughs> Vasileos Christou. Iliada Eleftherio. <laughs> Ulu Damilada Matthews. <laughs> Luca Minjulo. <laughs> Mohammed El Sayed El Sayed Mohammed. And for the degree of Master of Research in Advanced Computer Science, Tao Liu. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science in Advanced Computer Science, Mohamed Baltredin. <laughs> Changyong Bao. Ioannis Dematriades. <laughs> Zixi Duan. <laughs> Maria Magama Ibrahim. <laughs> Yiyang Ji. Yang Liu. <laughs> si Ju Lu. <laughs> Chao Shi. <laughs> Xu Yan Su. Dan Lin Wang. <laughs> Lu Wang. <laughs> Shui Dong Wang. <laughs> Feng Xuan Wu. Rui Kui Ye. Huxi 
Xiao Yuan. Li Jie Chang. Bo Ying Chao. Yuxi Chao. And in Advanced Computer Science and Information Technologies Management, Hanadi Ahmed. Kisheng Cheng. Sheng Kui Fang. Ming Li Fang. Yu Chua Feng. Ling Ke He. Xiu Yun He. Guyan Yu Chi. Rosita Karami. Kian Lau. Kai Lin. Ang Liu. Jia Bin Liu. Hai Ying Ma. Pelagia Ntuskori. Yu Kui. Yaxin Rantan. Gorgos Taparelas. <laughs> Yi Wang. <laughs> Lu Ying Zhang. <laughs> Rui Shu Zhang. And in Advanced Computer Science and IT Management, Information Management, Bulat Kardinov. <laughs> and in Advanced Computer Science with data, and, uh, with data and Knowledge Management, Anne Elizabeth Cunningham. And in Advanced Computer Science with Specialization in Advanced Web Technologies, Ivana Korovic. <laughs> Rakesh Gatapurveregovda. <laughs> Yifan Lu. And in Advanced Computer Science with Specialization in Artificial Intelligence, Konstantinos Albertis. <laughs> Nicolas Karl Butigig. <laughs> Mohamed Mohib Khan. Stilianus Kostoglu. <laughs> Hao Wei Li. <laughs> X 
Xiang Xiang Ma. Cheng Quen Ni. Si Chu Yuyang. Somya Ranjan Panda. Nidas Petraritius. Yifei Chen. Michael Helmut Stadler. Edward Tallentire. Yu Jie Tian. Ying Feng Wang. Andrew David Warburton. Tian Kui Xia. Ding Ye. And in advanced computer science with specialization in computer security, Seham Muhammad Al Gandhi. Godfrey Kibo Shirima. <laughs> Axel Smith. <laughs> Joseph Waring. <laughs> and, and in advanced computer science, <laughs> With specialization in data and knowledge management, Ang Lee. <laughs> Gining Zhang. <laughs> and in advanced computer science, with specialization in digital biology, Kimberly Mary Bird. And in advanced computer science with specialization in software engineering, C.E. Lee. <laughs> Wen Jie Lu. <laughs> ono Kan On There. Chiyoke Onukem. <laughs> Gorgos Paraskos Vuras. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Engineering in Computer Science with honors, Joseph Powell. And in computer science with industrial experience with honors, Sven, Sven Raymond Cortell. <laughs> Andre Sebastian Kostin. <laughs> Jack Davison. <laughs> Tristan Daniel Mart. Artemis Makaras. <laughs> Evelyn Ratchev. <laughs> Petra Yono Turo. <laughs> Ta
and in software engineering with industrial experience with honors, Ebenezer Emanuel Kawende. <laughs> Anton Chekanov. <laughs> Eva Nikolaeva Nikolaeva. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Artificial Intelligence with honors, Wan Kua Huang. <laughs> and in Computer Science with honors, Yu Chen Pan. <laughs> Jia Chuin Yong. And in computer science with business management, with industrial experience, with honors, Alexandru Enachika. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Kurdu Abdullah. Mustafa Abdullahi. <laughs> James Lee Blackall. <laughs> Khalil Dindandiran. <laughs> Thomas Fisher. Sam Hewitt. Majid Kadam. Kate Lawrence. Benjamin Owen. William Robinson. <laughs> David Ramuza. <laughs> Timo Tapio Visto. <laughs> Jason William Vitalis. Ziang Yu Wei. <laughs> Fang Shu. <laughs> Ching Chong Jiang. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science in Advanced Manufacturing Technology and Systems Management, David Frank Bogasish. Chong Chi Chen. <laughs> Yan Hao Hu. <laughs> Thomas Patrick Charles Carville Humphreys. <laughs> Abdullah Mohammed Ahmed Omar. Victoria Weisberg. <laughs> Chinkai Yang. <laughs> and in commercial project management, Alhamza Mohammed Almala. <laughs> Sami Al Nayad.
Sushant Rai Aurora. <laughs> Ang Chai Swen Kwan. <laughs> Lee Deng. <laughs> Ahmed Ma Esper. Rebecca Charlotte Elizabeth Hallows. <laughs> Lawrence Levy. <laughs> Lucas Martin. <laughs> Philip Piotra Mudazajari. Bianca Iona Motfolia. <laughs> Shiori Nishizaki. <laughs> Odamoni Finuk. <laughs> Jack James Radcliffe. Parisa Sabahanan. <laughs> Shivanga Sakar. <laughs> Ridiman Suri. <laughs> Mohammed Husnain Tahir. Joshua Thornbury. <laughs> Hoi Hoi Tian. <laughs> Roberto Vidal Cardelli. <laughs> Sebastian Jean Wall. C. Yu Yong. <laughs> P. I. An Ziang. <laughs> and in mechanical engineering design, Abiola Festus Abioden. Ayoji Abimbola Or <laughs> Hugh Black <laughs> Rufeng Kao <laughs> Hashan Chelamal Oyu Shen. <laughs> Leon Cummings. <laughs> Jenom Atulkama Dusti. <laughs> Junbo Duan. Tamim Osama A. Falamamban. <laughs> Minyi Gui. <laughs> Xiaoshen Gu. <laughs> Amir Zakaria Abdo Hatini. Aniti James Itoro. <laughs> Uday Krishna.
when you leave. Zio Hao Li. Yi Hui Li. Hao Wan Liu. Darani Mathivanan. Osato Osemwenji. <laughs> Wei Suenpeng. <laughs> Joshua Daniel Riley. <laughs> Syed Mizanil Rizvi. Diane Shen, <laughs> Yang Shen, <laughs> Daiwen Tan, <laughs> Chayapal Thiti Kavavanant. Peng Wang, <laughs> Ziu Wang, <laughs> Wei Wu, <laughs> Tian Tia, <laughs> Wan Yu Xie. Yu Yang Zhen. <laughs> Hiu Yuan. <laughs> Long Zheng. <laughs> Tiake Zhang. Zhang. <laughs> Yashi Zheng. <laughs> and in Nuclear Technology Management Professional Development, Fernando Campos. And in Reliability Engineering and Asset Management, Dania Kari Abedin. <laughs> Eric Angimang Prempa. <laughs> Abdullah Ibrahim Al Abdul Karim. Abu Bakr Kori Alkali, <laughs> Abdullah Adnan M. Al Jabi, <laughs> Christopher James Butt, <laughs> La English. Altamash Faroz Khan. <laughs> Punawit Kitchsan Oyatan. <laughs> Yuhan Chiao. <laughs> Jimmy Fozen Satiria. Gavin Paul Wright. <laughs> Zidi Zhao. <laughs> Yi 
and in Structural Engineering, Yizan Mualfik Al Laham. Juan Sebastian Alvarez Ruelova. Arturo Benavides Ecazabo. Xianlong Chen. James Daniels. Jiadong Fan. Lu Gao. Rajpal Vijay Jamka. Alazar Waldi Johannes Lemedo. Rong Ma. Hush Kamlesh Mystery. Ruchika Nilesh Mystery. Ziji Nai. Vanes Nai. Ogeshi Patrick Ogbonna. Essien Andy Onion. <laughs> Sohail Syed. <laughs> Matt Harathi. Oh, oh this. Mudhamathi. Thura Van Katam. <laughs> Yanyuo Wang. Zinyo Wang. <laughs> Yiting Wu. <laughs> Changzhou. <laughs> Lingdi Yang. Li Yin. <laughs> Ren Wei Yong. <laughs> Chen Xiang Yu. <laughs> Jia Chong Zhang. <laughs> Zio Zhang. And shout you, Zhao. <laughs> and in thermal power and fluid engineering, Ishini Mahapatra. <laughs> Ka Hong Wang. <laughs> Jia Long Zhu. And for the postgraduates, apologies. And in mechanical engineering design, uh, Fitri Kwishari bin Shamsiari. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Aerospace Engineering with Honours, uh, Jesus Alberto Quanguango Farias. Joshua Tampo Holmes. Samuel Beckett 
uh, sorry, Samuel Benedict Franziscus Weigert. <laughs> and in mechanical engineering with honours, Yingzhi Ding. <laughs> Natasha Nachaki Kanyola. And in mechanical engineering, nuclear engineering, with honours, Olivia Elizabeth Ann McClatchy. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering, Mei Deng Li. <laughs> and Anis Ben Rabba. remains um, is for you to stand up please just 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 the graduands please just the graduands you're not receiving a degree today <laughs> uh, you have a very impressive piece of headwear in your hands could you now please put your hat on your head and become graduates of the University of Manchester Many congratulations. <laughs> Sit down, please. It just remains for me to close the proceedings. Uh, delighted to see so many friends and family here. You will have noticed the weather. One of the things about UK weather, and Manchester specifically, it is actually the best weather in the world. <laughs> it is never too hot. It is never too cold. And it frequently rains so that the garden is green. <laughs> Many congratulations to all our graduates. All best wishes for the future. Keep in touch. To our friends and visitors, thank you again for coming. Delighted to see you all here. And very safe journey home. I declare this congregation closed. <laughs>